everyone, Stacy Burke here. And yeah, that's a motorcycle in the background. And Clyde's chewing on something. Well, today is a Tuesday. It is December 8th. I just wanted to film something for you guys real quick while Roy is at work. Um, <sighs> stuff going on. A lot of people talking outside. I went to CVS because, okay, Trisha Paytas, she has this baby doll. I'm obsessed with. She calls baby OJ, and she has this. It looks like you know your newborn baby, like a like. But it's for kids, you know, like a doll. She said she got it at CVS. Uh, and uh, I went to CVS to get one, and they didn't have it. So I'm a little bummed. So I'm on the internet looking for uh, baby dolls. Because, it's, I don't know, I'm, it's kind of cool because I'm obsessed with it. She has this baby, baby o OJ. She, she just bought it on a whim. And now she carries around like a little baby. And I'm like, oh, even though I have Clyde. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool, you know, to 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 get like a little baby doll. Like since I don't have ch children, I can never have children. And in case you don't know my backstory, I think I'll try to put the link down below. It's basically um, that I I think it might might be titled the day I almost died, or my when I went to the ER, or um, fibroids could kill you type of thing. Cause literally, yeah. I almost died, um, and it was kind of like a traumatic, like, 10-year experience, yeah, 10 years, 10 years of my life, in my 20s, I was pretty much off and on bedridden because complications with uh, fibroid tumors, uh, but um, that, I'll try to find the link it down below, but anyway, I can't have children, so uh, I thought, you know, Roy always wanted a kid, so that's why we have all these animals and stuff. Um, so it's like, I was like, oh, that would be kind of cool, you know. Although my baby doll, I would like, I would like it to be a ginger, because I've, I've always wanted red hair. And you know, I, I, I dye my hair red all the time, but it fades in the sun. Red's the hardest color to keep up. But I love red hair. My mom was a redhead with green eyes and I think that's amazing. Red hair and green eyes. I love that. So I would love to find a baby doll that has red hair, green eyes, and a little like a little bit of an olive complexion, like a dark complexion like I do. I think it would be amazing. Basically I want a baby Rihanna. I don't know. And I might even get a girl baby doll because I'm so drawn to boys like I, my dog's a boy, cats are boys, I love baby boys, except our bird, our bird's a girl, because we fell in love with her, you know, I love her, so I got Josephine, but I mean, I mainly fall in love with baby boys, so I thought, well, if I get a baby doll, I might get a girl, the first one, I'll probably get a girl, maybe I'll get another baby doll, I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of fun to have because every time I have the stroller to bring Clyde, our puppy, in, everyone asks, where's the the baby? And they think it's funny that we have a stroller for Clyde. But Clyde's like 35 pounds and when he gets tired easily and he's just too heavy to pick up. So we need a stroller. And he does get tired a lot. And sometimes we don't want to come home. we got other things to do so we'll put him in the stroller and he's fine in the stroller. But we're eventually going to get a wagon. So Trisha, yes, thank you for my baby doll obsession. I'm trying to um, trying to find a baby doll. <laughs> a little, I want a life like life like baby, like how you got. Uh, but so I'm gonna be shopping around for that. And also Trisha, I hope you're still watching my videos, even though I got a dog. I know you don't like dogs, so I really hope you're still watching my videos. I really hope you do. I mean, you know. I know there's going to be a lot of Clyde because he's my baby now. He's 10 months now. You know, so, and his first birthday, we think we're going to, um, on February 1st, I think Roy and I are going to have a, a doggy party. <laughs> yeah, we're those people. We're turning into those people. But it's okay. I'm all happy with it. But since I went to CVS looking for a baby doll, I didn't find it. But I got a few items. Now, you know I got the Star Wars paper for Roy, but I'm not really into Star Wars. So I thought I want to get some Christmas paper just for my own. So I got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because I love Rudolph. So this is what I got at CVS. And once in a while I might call it QVC. I mean CVS. 
But for some reason, sometimes it say QVC. Okay, you know I drink my eggnog. What? Let me show you. I bought this less than a week ago. Look, it's almost empty. I'm drinking it now. I love my spiked eggnog. I love it. This was $20 at Bebmo, and I bought it less than a week ago. I think I bought it like a, like, I don't know, maybe Thursday. I don't know, but less than a week ago, and it's almost gone. But at CVS, two for $10. Now it's not as big as that, so it was basically ten bucks for so that's a good deal, right? And it's spiked eggnog, and so I got two, of course. Two for ten dollars, five dollars a piece. That's pretty damn good. So I got that, and I don't use foundation. I don't. I use um, BB cream. I use uh, this stuff, the BB cream. I usually get Garnier, but uh, this was, I got this at CVS. I don't know how much it is, but I usually get medium, medium to deep. That's my color. And I like it because it has vitamin C. It has all your vitamins in it. It's kind of a sheer, like it, it doesn't, it's not full coverage. But if you want full coverage, I just do two applications on it, and it gives me a better coverage. But I haven't used foundation in so long. But sometimes I would like to try foundation. I need to find a foundation I like for days when I need more coverage. But because I use this with powder, so it's, you know. So I did that. And you know how the last video, my hands, I exfol what happened was I exfoliated them like a month or so ago, like really hardcore. Because I hardcore, I exfoliate my face. I exfoliate everything. And for some reason, I thought, well, I'll do my hands. Well, for some reason, my hands didn't bounce back like my face and everything else does. It got little red bumps, and I scratch it until it bleeds. So it's having a hard time healing. And the, even the palm of my hands, I've been having these dry, cracked hands. And I seriously, you can't really tell now, but my hands look decrepit. They look terrible. They got little blood marks and everything. And I've been using all different kinds of cream. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Neosporin and all that kind of stuff. Well, I saw a commercial for this. And I got it at CVS. It's Working Hands by o o o Kel or O'Keefe's. O'Keefe's. And it says guaranteed relief. And I put some on, and let me tell you, I feel the automatic relief. Like I don't feel the sensation to scratch them. Like it feels soothing without it irritating, soothing. Like most creams, you know, you get that perfume or dye, and they, they, they kind of sting when you put it on. So I was using the Neosporin, the antibiotic cream. And granted, you know, it's antibiotic, you think it would be good. It didn't stop the sensation to scratch it, you know. This, I put it on and literally, I mean, I feel a little bit like the urge, but it's not there. And as long as I don't scratch it, I think it will heal. So, and I think it's working. Like, I haven't read all this, what this does. But, I mean, it's, it's pretty instant. So, I do, they had a balm too, like a balm, you know, like a, like a pancake type Thing that was like this instead of the cream this is a cream they had one that was like a mama I probably should have got that but I got this cream and god if it works I might go back and get the bomb because it's the bomb <laughs> more trucks going by um yeah I get annoyed with loud I hate trucks because I'm up above I'm upstairs so the noises of the street really you really hear it okay and then the, the one more thing. Oh, the CVS haul, I think, was like uh, 30 bucks. Um, I don't know. I haven't bought Cosmo in a long time. But Miranda Lambert was on the cover. They have an In Touch, too, I should have got. I haven't really been buying magazines lately, only because I got YouTube. I, you know, I just, I got TV. I got work. I got Clyde. I got wrapping paper. I got Christmas. I got things to do. But um, I don't know. I've been really into Miranda Lambert. Um, 
on Amazon they have that Prime and you can listen to music and I put it on my phone and I put my um, wireless headphones on and I go about my day doing stuff and around the house or at work and I put on the uh, Prime on the cloud you don't have to buy it it's kind of cool when you got Amazon Prime it's basically because I like iHeartRadio and I like Google Play but Google Play is messing up with me a little bit and, and I pay ten dollars a month for that but with Amazon Prime it's almost like Google Play you can listen to any album excuse me one thing with a puppy they grab things and they want to chew on them um, one thing with uh, Google Play and Prime which is really cool not only can you download music and purchase music and all that and you but you could also create your own music station uh, that's free or and or and you could listen to any album any artist you would like to for free so I basically put up on the cloud all of Miranda Lambert's albums and I think there was five of them Ooh, fart. oh Clyde you farted oh yikes Ooh, sorry oh, you can feel the warmth like a warm like warm air just like a stink bomb anyway what was I saying oh yeah the cloud uh, Miranda Lambert I downloaded all her fiber albums and I gotta tell you I haven't found one song I don't like I mean I like the way the world go around I like um God, there's a lot of them that I really really like there's one called bathroom sink like remember I told you or maybe you don't I'll catch you up all my life I usually like punk rock surf punk is my favorite I like usually like punk rock type music like hard music not into metal Roy likes metal I tried not into that I like rock and roll I like punk I like alternative I like new wave I like 80s um, I like dance I'm not really that much into hip hop, but there's some that's good that I like that I'll listen to. Of course, you know, club music. I go to the club, I could dance to everything like that. You know, and there's some rap stuff that I kinda like, but I don't know any I don't know any I don't know any names. The weekend, I don't know. I guess he's good. I don't know. I don't know any anything about rap stars. I know and I you know Snoop and Jay Z, but I can't name any of their songs. I just know I like with them when they come on. But um but lately I've been getting into country I think what started it was just driving and when I got my serious uh, radios and I've been playing around with all my serious stations um, punk rock like I've heard it all and they don't really have a punk rock serious station really and there's a lot of new punk that I don't really know plus I already have like a driving like I get like okay I get panic attacks when I'm driving but I also get road rage. <laughs> I think we all do. And punk rock is not really good when you have road rage. It doesn't really help. What helps is country music. When I listen to country music, it puts me in a better place. And I could drive and I, I'm not so aggressive or I'm not. Or if I'm having a panic attack, it kind of like I just I listen to the story and I zone out to listen to the story. Almost like when I used to listen to uh, talk radio, it just kind of puts you just put your head there, and you don't really get mad at people the way they drive because you're not really paying attention. You're paying attention driving, but you're not so emotional about it. Like you don't put your emotions there. Your emotions are to hear the story of talk radio or country music. Like it always puts you like in a good mood, you know, just or you just sing along or just. I don't know. So I've been getting into it. Now, granted, I don't know a lot of art. I don't know the names of a lot of artists. I don't know the, the, the names of the songs. I just know certain songs that I like. I usually like country that has like a rock and roll type of thing. Like Brandon Lambert has this rock edge to her. And I think that's why I like her. So uh, like the way the world goes around, it's like a rock, like a rock type thing. And so, yeah. So anyway, Came back. That's probably why I bought this. I don't know. I, I always regret getting Cosmo when I get it because it's just a bunch of articles that I really don't care about, and it's pretty much cookie cutter type articles like how to improve your sex life, and it's basically the same article they've been running since probably 1975, which is different like 
adjectives to make it sound like it's hip and today or something like that. So it's like I mainly just look at the pictures. And I don't really read, like, like if I'm going to read, I'm going to read, I don't know. I might read something in here, but I'm doubtful. But doubtful. Doubt, doubtful. <laughs> but I bought it. So that's my uh, QVC. See? I said QVC. CVS haul. I only say QVC. Another thing I've been looking for, I want to find some curtains for the bedroom. I think I'm going to do that online. And also, I'm looking for that broom. I need a carpet rake to get all this uh, dog hair. I think I need a, 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 a rubber-type carpet rake or bristle. I don't know if I should get bristles. If you know, put your comments down below because I don't know if I need a rubber rake or um, uh, like a broom-type of bristle rake to get the hair off the carpet so I can vacuum better because I vacuum every day. But I need something better than that. Oh, and today I donated a bunch of stuff to the homeless again. It's been like about like a month since I've done it, but I I had like about 10 bags of clothing and blankets and not only my stuff, but uh, people donate to me, like v Victor, Roy's friend. He's moving, so he gave me two bags of stuff. Then the laundromat, we always get like, there's so much stuff that people just leave. You'd be amazed. They just leave it. Like, they do their laundry, and they leave it in the washing machine, and I, I let it go for a couple of days. But if they don't come back, I put it in the lost and found, and then if they don't come back within a couple months, off to the homeless shelter it goes. And that's what I did today. So I donated about 10 bags of that today. And so that's about it. Looking for the baby. And I saw, like, also Rubik's Cubes. I guess they're making a comeback. Do you know there was a time when I was a, when I was a kid, I used to do the Rubik's Cube. I could solve it in about, I don't know, probably a minute, minute, maybe two minutes. And don't get me wrong, I'm not like, oh, a whiz kid. There was a book on how to solve the Rubik's Cube, and I read it. And there's a formula. There's a formula to it. You know, it's kind of like a math thing. There's a formula to it. And then as long as you get, like, the four corners, when you get there, you, there's a certain boom, 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 boom. And I used to – so I read it. I learned how to, to uh, do the Rubik's Cube. And then when I learned it, it was my little trick. I used to, like, oh, let me fix it. Boom, 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 boom. And I'd give it – can't remember it to this day. Can't remember it to this day. I used to be able to do a Rubik's Cube in like a minute. I'm sure there's like world records that like a few seconds. But back when I was a kid, a minute was pretty damn impressive, okay? A minute was pretty damn good. <laughs> so, I think that was my record. I actually, basically, I think it took two minutes. But I think, you know, if I could really do it, it was like, you know, if it wasn't, if it didn't stick, because sometimes it would stick, you know, like I don't know if they're better now. But, like, you'd get it, it would, like, oh, it stick, and so it would mess you up. But, um, yeah, I used to be able to do a Rubik's Cube in a minute. I wonder where that book is at. I'm sure I could find it. That's another thing on Amazon. I, when I was looking through baby dolls, I saw this old book I used to have as a kid. I think Mama, like, Little Mama. It was called Little Mommy. And it's about this little girl with her little dolls. And, oh, God, it's out of stock on Amazon. But I think I'm going to – I wanted to put it on my wish list, but – because I have an Amazon wish list, tinyurl.com backslash Stacy Burt wish list. And I was going to put it on my wish list, but they're out of stock. Did you have that book? As loud vehicles go by again. Called A Little Mommy. And it's about this little girl caring for her dolls. And it was, I just remember because my grandmother on my mom's side used to read to me every night. Because I've been being a divorced family. I lived with my grandparents on my dad's side, but every other weekend, my other grandmother on my mom's side would take me, and she was pretty good with toys and stuff, and she would read to me every night, and I had a few of my favorite books, and that was one of them, and I remember that book. I think I'm going to look and see if it's on stock again called Little Mommy. That was a good book. I like that book. Brings back memories. I don't even know why I would buy it. This is memories. This is more stuff. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. Oh, well. I might get it. <laughs> I might get it. 
details. All right. Well, I hope everyone's having a groovy day. I'm going to get back to uh, doing stuff. I I should probably wrap some gifts, royally wrapped gifts. I'm waiting till everything comes in because I just want to just do it all at once. So I might wait till more stuff comes in because Roy created a wish list too, which is awesome. I love it because it's like no more spending money frivolously. We're just going to go off the wish list. But still, you don't know what you're getting because someone can buy up your wish list. As long as you make your wish list big, because if it's only a few things, it's not so fun. you got to make your wish list big. Go to Amazon, create a wish list. Make it huge. Tell everyone about it. And then when it's your birthday, Christmas, people could go to it. You still don't know what you're getting because you have a lot on there. But it's something you kind of want. So it's 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 cool. I like the Amazon wish list. They're kind of neat. I wish there was like other stuff. Like, Trisha, I wish your uh, shirts and stuff was on that because it would be so much easier. In fact, I, got, I, I put Shannon Rose's book on my wish list. And... Um, it's not there anymore, so I think someone bought it for me. Shannon, I think someone bought um, Shannon Rose. If you're out there, I don't know if you're watching my vlogs, but I think I'm getting your book for Christmas because it was on my wish list, and it's not there anymore. Can someone tell Shannon Rose? Can someone tell Shannon Rose that I might be getting her book for Christmas? Yee-hee! <laughs> can someone tell Trisha that I'm getting a baby for Christmas? <laughs> Oh my lord, I'm wacky. All right, well I better start go, going because I'm seeing the tick, tick, tick. It's 21 and a half, I'm going on 22 minutes. So I hope everyone's having a groovy day. I know I am because it's Christmas time and I can't wait to see all the Christmas lights. My husband's taking me, I think, for a trolley ride this weekend. I'm pretty sure because there's a trolley that comes around here. It's so cute. It looks like San Francisco trolley. It's all cute. Like looks like Dickens. Looks all these lights on it, and they take you all through the city to see the lights. So I really want to go on this trolley ride. It sounds like so much fun. They give you hot cocoa, and they give you biscuits, and give you a hat. So I'm really excited. I really hope we get to go this weekend. So all right, I'm like the James Brown saying goodbye. I say goodbye. And I start talking again. I say goodbye, and I start talking again. Put the cape on me. James Brown. Hot tub. Get in. Hot tub. All right. All right. My company wants to play Frisbee, so <laughs> they won't let go. Have a groovy day. I'm really going now. Love you all. Peace.